strange cave on European island is forcing experts to rewrite human history. Normally, history isn't one of those subjects where guesswork and rumors passes good science. Anthropologists, researchers, and archaeologists are supposed to be meticulous in their work, ensuring the true narrative is told. It's what separates legend from what you read in textbooks. But when it comes to Malta, that just isn't the case. Investigation into the island's history has been interrupted by grand world events and huge mistakes by researchers. Misinformation spread about the place for years, but now the record is finally being set straight. Malta is a small island made up of only 122 square miles. It has a surprisingly dense population of inhabitants, hovering somewhere around half a million residents, just as dense as the archaeological and anthropological artifacts on the island. That's because Malta has a complex and very long past that's been mostly overlooked for a whole series of reasons. Basically, the gross mishandling of Malta's artifacts is every historian's nightmare. It all began in 1917 when Giuseppe Despot found teeth during a dig in Malta. As it turned out, they were not modern teeth but a few strays from the mouth of a humanoid species from 40,000 years ago. In 1936, J. G. Baldacchino found more. Surely these findings would prompt researchers from all over the world to descend upon Malta and piece together the island's rich past. But those plans were interrupted because something kind of big was just around the corner. When World War II broke out, the investigation into Malta's past was tabled indefinitely. Against their own will, the then British territory was thrown into conflict when dictator Benito Mussolini bombed the Maltese capital. The last thing on anyone's mind was preserving the historical narrative of artifacts of Malta. Survival was the only goal as citizens watched their island get decimated. Because of their geographical position, Malta suffered some of the worst aerial attacks of the war. Dutch researcher Lenny Rijek believes that there were lies spread about the history of Malta due to an inside job completed by Mussolini. There is a possibility misinformation was disseminated on purpose from one nefarious source. When the war ended, Malta was left high and dry after enduring 150 days and nights of bombing. Massive losses of life and the crumbling of infrastructure caused the economy to take a hard hit, though the country was awarded the George Cross accolade by Britain for its service. Rijek has spent tons of time studying Malta and has one lingering question. How it's been possible that this version of history has been accepted in Malta for so long, seen in retrospect, is a mystery. Historians remove the information about evidence of early humans on Malta. Instead, opting for a narrative that the earliest humans on Malta were from 7,000 years ago, when evidence such as ancient teeth shown much earlier dates. The source of this falsehood could be even more insane than Rijek hypothesized. Luigi Maria Ugolini was an Italian researcher working on Malta during the 1920s. His work was funded by the state, aka Mussolini, making Ugolini a fascist. His work concerning Malta became his intellectual property and was completely lost just before World War II. When he died in 1936, his records on Malta were kept in an Italian museum where they would stay because of the turbulent political environment up until the year 2000. Now his records are changing everything we thought we knew about the Malta timeline. Rijek's research and the previously lost records from Ugolini reveal that all evidence points towards early humans in Malta. However, a series of blunders have left much of the evidence completely degraded. For example, the prehistoric artwork that was located in a Maltese cave system. Gar Hassan is an intricate cave system with a discrete entrance point facing the Mediterranean Sea. A claustrophobically small tunnel breaks off into more passageways. Eventually, you come upon a long bench, clearly made by humans. Rijek writes of the tale involving a hiding spot for a Muslim slave many years ago. Even more important are the paintings that were discovered. Though faded, they offered proof of early humans. Unfortunately, the paintings have since washed away. Without proper preservation, the elements in time did their worst, causing them to disappear forever. In another case of irresponsibility so bad it's almost humorous, a miscommunication caused history to be erased. An ancient underground Maltese temple called the Hypogeum was built 5,000 years ago. One of the paintings on the wall of the structure was a depiction of a bull, but you won't be able to find it today. Allegedly, one of the workers maintaining the site was instructed to wash the wall the bull was on. In just a few minutes, he effectively wiped away thousands of years of history. 
This is just one of the many missteps that's led to a lot of misinformation about Malta. Thanks to people like Lenny Rejic, the confusing story of Malta is finally being untangled and aligned with the truth. Currently, a major area of study for researchers is the waters surrounding Malta, which are rich in artifacts. Even after being war-torn, erased, and poorly preserved, the Malta history books is an incredible one. Now its own republic, the gorgeous islands, hold the history of many different nations and prehistoric humans. Well-preserved cave paintings have always been exceptionally interesting to historians because of their multifaceted value. Not only do they inform us about the resources of early humans, but they give insight into their cognitive and artistic abilities too. Analyzing imagination levels and the construction of these cave paintings lets researchers know just how far along certain humans were on the evolutionary chain. Observing their artistic ability helps piece together the human timeline. Some cave paintings are more telling than others. Scientists are focusing on a particular mural located in Indonesia, a country that was, up until recently, critically underexplored. Now it's home to one of the most intriguing cave murals in history. It's a miracle they even discovered this hidden gem. Maxine Aubert and his team of archaeologists from Griffith University were exploring one cave when they noticed a separate, lofted entrance to another crevice. They investigated. A team member used tree vines to climb the walls of the cave and gained access to the remote and ancient artwork. When Aubert finally laid eyes on the rock art, he could hardly keep his jaw off the floor. I had never seen anything like it, the expert explained. The team sampled mineral deposits on the surface of the painting to measure the radioactive decay of the artwork, thus determining the age of it. The results were not what they expected. The painting dated back to around 44,000 years ago, making it the world's oldest discovered cave art to date. This was an incredible find, but there was something else about the subject of the painting that made it even more insightful. Depicted on the surface of the rock was not your average bout of abstract shapes and symbols common of that era. Instead, the mural boasted an intricate and logical progression of a story. Plus, the major protagonist had some odd qualities. The early human who created this particular painting didn't choose a typical human form to depict. The mural showed strange animal-human hybrid figures called therianthropes. These bipedal humanoids sported snouts and tails. The therianthropes were portrayed hunting pigs and buffalo. To some, this creation by the artist from eons ago might be evidence for some nefarious and almost paranormal link on the evolutionary itinerary. This had scientists asking questions about human-animal hybrids. Before crossing fully into ancient aliens territory regarding the seemingly supernatural beings, it's worth mentioning an alternative concept. Scientists, of course, were not buying into the existence of these therianthropes, but they were still thrilled by the discovery for one reason. Before this, most of the cave art from 40,000 years ago didn't show evidence of imagination or cognitive progression. It wasn't until 35,000 years ago that people and animals began to show up in cave art. Now they had evidence of advanced thought processes 44,000 years ago. All this means that humans, at least those in Southeast Asia, were more intellectually progressive than what was widely believed before. There was one more thing that the fanciful cave art showed evidence of, and it's maybe the most important. One of the main things that separate us from animals is the capability to use imagination and think up things that actually aren't real. The early construction of fiction from so long ago shows that we've been making up stories for millennia. To take it a step further, Adam Brum, who co-authored a study on the discovery, submitted that it could be early proof of spirituality. Therianthropes are perceived as gods, spirits, or ancestral beings in many religions worldwide, he stated. There was more. The scene depicted by the prehistoric Picasso may also give evidence of early human strategy and hunting practices, as it showed a scene where the Therianthropes were chasing after prey. Clearly, this artwork helped reshape the commonly held views in the scientific community. Scientists believe that humans arrived in Southeast Asia around 65,000 years ago meaning there's a possibility that more undiscovered cave art is out there. Given the age of these invaluable murals, time is of the essence. Researchers are utilizing technology to help preserve the findings because of the original mural's prolific rate of deterioration. Their aim is to make it possible for future generations to have access to such incredible ancient treasures. As deterioration is a huge concern, many fear that unknown art will crumble in the dark depths of some cave before being found. 
Of course, they're looking everywhere for clues about our history.